Hey everybody, this is Ryan. You're watching Sailing Freestyle, and the big day is finally here. I'm going to the big kids pond today, Long Island Sound. Let's go. Alright, so it's officially now day f Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, five of sailing week. We only got one day of sailing in, but today is the big day. Today uh, is going to be the first time we go in the ocean. Um, Long Island Sound is where we're headed, um, so let me do my usual thing and flip you around and show you the plan. Alright, here we are on the Navionics uh, web page here. So, plan is, we got um, winds. You know, let's go to the winds first. Right, we're gonna get there around here. So we got winds coming out of the northeast, um, changing to southeast. Originally, we're leaving from here, Brantford. Um, we we're gonna head over to Joshua's Cove, um, but because the wind's coming in this direction, and this is gonna be my first time overnighting anywhere, I wanted to give myself plenty of time to get to where I was going um, and not have to fight the wind and tic tac. Um, all the way over there. So instead, we're going to travel with the wind. We're going to go this way, and then we're going to anchor here. This is called Morris Cove. It's kind of a cool-looking bluff, I think, over here. And we'll be well-protected from all the winds, which are going to be coming from, I think, like the east-ish tonight. Yeah, so and it's not even going to be very much, but uh, hey, better safe than sorry, right? So... Winds coming from this direction will be safe from them winds there. Only problem is we got a main channel here going to a New Haven. So we might get some big boats that are creating some wake, but I think we'll be all right. So plan is to start here. Branford, come out, go a this away, anchor here for the night. If we get here super, super early, then maybe we'll come explore the sandbar or something like that. Then tomorrow, um, overnight, I think we're switching to... Overnight winds coming from the east still picking up a little bit maybe, not really. Now tomorrow we got a south wind, pretty much the whole day winds are picking up a little bit, gets a little bit gustier in the afternoon, but all coming from the south. So we should literally be able to beam reach it all the way over to the Thimble Islands. We're gonna explore there, kind of go through there a little bit, kind of head into this cove just to check it out, and then we'll come all the way back and go home. So that's the, pl the plan here. Um, there you can see it on the Navionics. That's day one. Route. Uh, let's go to Long Island uh, day two. That's what day two looks like. Um, I'm, 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 I'm weather. This afternoon, east northeast winds, seven to nine, becoming southeast, mostly sunny, seas around one foot. Nice. Uh, tonight, variable winds, less than five, so that's pretty easy peasy. Becoming southeast, uh, 5 to 8 in the evening, mostly cloudy, seas around 1 foot, perfect. Friday, south wind, 6 to 11, partly sunny, seas around 1 foot. So, weather looks great. Tides. We got a high around 9 o'clock this morning. We're working towards a low, probably right about when we'll be getting going underway. So, tide will be rising as we go underway. Um, which will be even better because it'll just push us um, towards our destination coming up the Long Island Sound there. Um, that's the way that the tide will be coming in um, from east to west. And we're looking at a high around 9. So even if we um, beach that um, beach the boat exploring that sandbar a little bit, we won't get worried about getting stuck on that bar. Um, but we'll see. That's all just a possibility. Um, Friday, let's see. Flow is going to be overnight around 3 a.m. <clears throat> so we will be dropping not rising so that would be nice to know that you know even if I screw something up with the amount of anchor road the tide's not going to lift us up and off the anchor uh, bah -bah. and high is going to be around 9 o'clock in the morning I'm sure we'll be well awake by then and yeah so cool we'll probably be around slack when we're heading over to the the Thimble Islands there so tide looks looks great actually 
and then it will be dropping and again it will be pushing us west at that point and that's what we want we might have to fight a little bit on the way back but i think there's really only a half knot occurring anyways so there you have it <clears throat> so there you have it guys that's the pram for our trip last thing i gotta do to pack the boat is grab a couple bags of ice and then we are on our way all right we are here in Brantford, connecticut there's miss freestyle here is the boat launch nice floating docks we got real boats man this is a, a much nicer environment this is where i i feel i feel happy here over there you guys remember from keith from when we first uh broke her in she's gonna join us today on our adventure i think this is the branford river so we're gonna launch her here and then we're gonna head off in that direction and go find the ocean All right, I'm walking backwards on the dock here, trying not to fall off. All rigged up, in the water, She's next to her new friends over here. And yeah, I'm pretty excited. Real ocean, getting it done. Dudes, dudettes, YouTubers, we are leaving Brantford Harbor right now. This is the last of the marinas right here. And uh, we're making our way to the Long Island Sound. Man, this is nice. I gotta tell you, it feels good to be out in this kind of water and not on a little pond. The real deal! Doing it! Officially, kind of on uh, open waters here. If you look behind me, this is a wild experience. A little, a little weird, a little different being on the uh, the rockiness. Um, when I saw one foot waves on the weather report, I was like, oh, it's going to be like calm. But no, it's a little bit rocky enough to make you be a little weirded out. Say we're not in Kansas anymore here. We're gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> um, 
Well, look at all them yeah, sailboats. Kind of nice, you know? I don't know if you can see those way out there, but. Yeah. This is like the real, I feel like we belong to the club now. All right, uh, I'm gonna focus on getting the sails up pretty soon, I think, here, and um, see if we can sail over to Morris Cove over in East Haven. Uncleated, cool. Right yeah, it's fucking crazy here. Sailing on the ocean. All right, we got sails up. We are sailing. Waves are actually pretty big out here. A little rocky, but I guess this is all part of the game. It's just a little different. It's just a weird feeling. It's not like a cutting through the water the way I'm used to in the lakes. It's more of like a, yeah like riding over a bunch of speed bumps. Nice little regatta out this way. Here, I'll flip you. Little Thursday night sail action. Little racing action. All right, we saw some fish breaking the surface, some bait fish and stuff, so we decided to throw out the uh, couple lures on the rods here, and who knows, maybe we'll catch a fish on the way to our anchorage. <laughs>
Fakten sind fertig. Hey guys, if you've been enjoying the Sailing Freestyle channel, please consider becoming a patron by checking out the Patreon page through the links below in the description. Something as little as $1 a month really goes a long way in supporting the channel. And to all my current patrons, thank you guys very, very much. You guys are all awesome.